Hey everybody, it's Matt from This and That with Matt. It's been a while, so I figured I would jump on here and post a new video. What I'm going to do today is going to be an early to mid 80s Eddie Bauer Global Survival Kit. Now, I got this uh, about a year and a half ago maybe off of eBay, and I think this was actually used in coordination with a car company where Eddie Bauer would they would sell the they would do some interior design for the car and I believe these were put in its glove box. So let's uh, see what this thing has to offer and see if it actually is a true global survival uh, kit. Hey everybody, so this is it. This is the Eddie Bauer Global Survival Kit. Comes in two parts, a top and a bottom. Let's open this up, see what we have. Uh, again, I do believe this is from the early to mid 80s. We'll see what happens. So the two tops come apart like that. Okay, I'll set that in there for now. What do we got here? These are the instructions. Emergency. You have opened this kit for an emergency. The five necessities for life support are ready to help you. Instant body protection from the elements. First aid and supplies. Stove to heat liquids. Instant energy and signaling supplies. There are three sections to this kit. Stove, fuel and matches. Body protection in a tent. And an emergency kit with an energy pack. So... Kind of a long list of instructions here. It's double-sided. <clears throat> Let's see here. Oh, yeah, so throw nothing away. Survival is work. You can survive. Kind of like the Bills did today against the Browns, but I won't discuss that. A win is a win. So let's open this up. First off, we have got not one, not two, but three Urbox Beef Bullion. That one is a brick. That one is a brick. Ooh, that one's kind of nice. So we got three Beef Bullion. Set those right over there. Spoon. I do believe the spoon actually doubles as a handle or a stand. Yep, right in here. So those two fit right there. So it actually holds on like that. You can see that for your little pot here, and we'll open this up second. So a little spoon right there. Let's get in here. One, two, three, four domino sugar cubes. Four domino sugar cubes. Oh, this is a piece of roached out surgical tubing. Um, I would not use this for a tourniquet, probably use this for some sort of maybe trying to siphon water, but don't know about that. Okay, here's a survival whistle with some fishing line. This thing is packed immaculately, by the way. I mean, they pack all this stuff so tight, I, I, I'm never going to get this back in, so I'm glad that we're all looking at this together. See if the whistle works. Oh, nice and loud. Yep, that was a nice survival whistle right there. Let's see here. Okay. All Weather Survival Company, it's a lanyard knife. That is a little knife. That thing is pretty roached. I do not think I'm gonna be opening up that. It's kind of uh, kind of uh, rusted at the top there. Old school, yeah, this has to be 80s. Anison Pain Relief. Um, was never aspirin, it was called Anison back then. Uh, yeah, so three old time Anison Pain Caps. Set that right there. Okay. Two rings. These rings are going to be used for your wire saw, which is in here somewhere. Set that there. Kind of bring everything back a little bit so you guys got a little bit better of a camera view. Trying a new area out today, um, kind of in the way, in the process of moving where I'm going to start recording. So just figured I'd do this real quick to get this out for you. This is a little pouch with water purification tablets. Kind of neat. This is a piece of duct tape that if you didn't know you would throw away, but upon further inspection, leaders and hooks 
for fishing. It's a pretty robust kit, I'll tell you. I'll take it. So, water bag for collection of water. Gauze pad. Move that knife out of the way. Take this out. It's a top that's empty. I'll set the instructions in there for now. Another gauze pad. So we're looking at two gauze pads, three Anison tablets, water bag, ad hoc spoon, um, handle for your stove, a couple of bullion, a knife, some hooks, some water pur purification tablets, some sugar, some surgical tubing, some monofilament fishing line with a whistle, and your two rings so far for your wire saw. Speaking of the wire saw, Again, this thing is packed immaculately. The wire saw is literally packed on the inside, if you can see that right there. It's packed on the inside of that. And this roll right here, let me put this duct tape back just to cover this. I'm not gonna take that out, it's just gonna be narrow it back. This, I believe, is the mosquito net. So it looks like they've rolled it around um, a piece of cardboard, used a couple pieces of duct tape to hold it in there. That's your mosquito net. So, not too bad of a part one. So again, like I said, we got mosquito net. I'm gonna put that back in there. A couple of gauze, some bee fox, some sugar, some pain relief here. Water collection bag, some hooks, some water pur purification tablets, the rings for your wire saw, whistle with some monofilament line, surgical tubing, and a roached out knife, and the spoon. Gonna set that right here for now. Kinda put that like that. This is part two. This is the bottom, or the stove. So that looks to be the stove, part of it. That also looks to be part of the stove. And last but not least, that is part of the stove. So if I'm not mistaken, kind of just sits up like that. And I'll leave that like that. And there's a reason why I'm gonna leave that opening there for a moment. So you just kind of set that there. Put our stove out of the way. Let's open up our knife again and kind of put a little bit of a cut in here. See what this is. Yeah, I know I'm not you know, knife safety, I know, cutting, cutting towards myself versus against myself. Again, these things are packed immaculately. So, show you quickly what's in there before I start taking everything out. It's a myriad of stuff. Also have some stuff on the bottom there. So, we have, check this out, a small ferro rod with some magnesium. That's actually really cool. That's actually a good striker. Um, I don't think I'm gonna do that in the house though. So I'll just set that right there. Um, one, two, three, four safety pins. I've got four safety pins, not bad. That's always, that's always good in a part of a kit. Standard razor blade, that's always nice. Okay. Signaling mirror, not bad. Little little mirror there, piece of cut glass. One wrapped pack of matches. Two wrapped pack of matches. Those are kind of nice. I mean, I like that. They're not waterproof matches. They're white tip, but they wrapped them in. Um, you know, give it a little bit of water resistant. It's obviously not going to be waterproof. Let's see here. What is this? Oh, oh, it's another hidden note. Surviving the unexpected emergency compliments of the Pocket Tent Company. So I'm going to bet money. Oh, this is called a little demon stove. Can be used to, wow, that's kind of nice. So remember the rule of threes. 
but this stuff has a nice funky smell to it. it smells like the 80s you can survive three minutes without oxygen three hours with ill clothes uh with bad fitting clothes and wet clothes and stuff like that in extreme temperatures three days without water three weeks without food most uh, most importantly before you do anything stop sit think observe and plan so again it's a nice little sheet there oh on the back side this is cool uh gives you distress signals gives you the ability to do some stuff like um gives you some basic information where you are how to uh, a little bit of first aid a little bit of distress how to make a fire on this side um gives you a little bit about how to utilize and make for a shelter so that's kind of cool we'll set that right there oh cure ad we have one two I feel like i'm dealing cards three four five six six band-aids set those right there um these are hexamine fuel tablets one two these are either yeah it's like five small hexamine fuel tablets and you would put your hexamine in here light to light your stove to boil your water to make your broth or whatever um i find it interesting they gave you sugar but they gave you no coffee or tea so i'm assuming that the sugar cube is just to pop so you have some instant energy the bouillon or the broth will be good because not only does it make you feel good mentally because you're having something warm but the salt will help you out in case you've exerted yourself and you've lost some salt during your travels lastly this is check this is cool this is a little bar of soap it's literally a little bar of, so, bar of soap and people might think that's frivolous however in a survival kit you know mental acuity and uh, feeling good mentally is part of survival and if you feel good mentally um, you can, uh, you know, if you feel good mentally, um, you can, uh, you can get through almost anything if you have the right equipment. Last but not least, and I noticed my Bill's flag fell down, so I'm not going to even worry about that. So that's okay. I'm just going to leave that for right now. This is your tube tent. Again, I'm not going to unravel that. It's literally as thin as, um, you know, it's, it's as thin as the thinnest garbage bag. However, if you didn't have anything, you could use this um you could use this in, in in an emergency so you got a pretty pretty cohesive kit here um i am kind of surprised that there's no duct tape in here um let's see here let me just read this real quick while we're you know thinking of the day um yeah um, interesting. The only duct tape they give you is the duct tape that they wrap, so it's a couple inches. It's not much. So, let's see if I can... I'm not going to ever put this back the way it came. But that can go in there. This can go in here. That They pack these on the side like that. This was down there somewhere like that. Signal mirror was... I don't know how they did that. Let's just do it that way. Oh, razor blade... Oh, cool. And my bandages, we're just going to throw right in there. And this, I believe, this. So I've already done that backwards. So hopefully you never have to repack this. This goes in the bottom. Then that goes in. And yeah, let's, uh, that goes in there with all the other stuff. So that is my unpacked kit because I'm not going to take the time to do it. But again, this was the review or kind of opening of, I think, an early 80s to a mid 80s Eddie Bauer Global Survival Kit. Um, I think it has a lot of great features in it. It has the ability, you know, it has shelter, food, water, fire, a couple of redundancies in there, a little bit of first aid. Um, gives you the ability to try to get through the next day, get through the next 24 to 36 hours. These, ki these kits aren't designed for, you know, days on end or anything. It might get you through a weekend if you stretched it, but mostly it's, you know, 24 to 36 to 48 hours, probably max. Um, you know, so 
hopefully you never have to use anything like this but if you do you know this 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 in my book is a is a um, a pretty cool uh pretty cool kit so again this is matt from this and that with matt i really appreciate you taking the time to hang with me this evening while i go through and show you this and everybody have a great day and we will see you all next time bye bye